Tonight, corruption so bad, LA City Hall has never seen anything mm. like it. That's what the feds say tonight about LA City Councilman Jose Wizar. They say he's the head of an organized crime ring that defrauded LA residents for five years. And tonight, the city council has suspended him, and protesters outside his house want him to resign immediately. KKL 9's Christy Fajardo has the latest. Tonight, at Councilman Jose Wezar's house, the gates are locked and the lights are off. But just hours ago, activists showed up and tried to serve him a symbolic eviction notice. <laughs> Tonight, outside his home, activists chanted, calling Jose Wezar a vendido, a sellout in Spanish. They say even before his arrest on federal racketeering charges, they knew he wasn't fighting for them. Our hearts are broken about Jose Wizar. I did have hopes for him, and it, it's a it, it's sad that he's done this to us. We're begging for trash cans. We're begging for street sweeping. We're begging to get help with the homeless crisis. But there was one group federal prosecutors say who did get Wizar's help: corrupt developers who paid massive bribes to get high rises in downtown LA approved. Our investigation has pulled back the curtain on significant and blatant corruption at City Hall. The 116-page indictment alleges Wezar ran a corrupt empire for five years, shaking down developers for at least 1.5 million in bribes. Including cash, luxury hotel rooms, fine dining, chartered flights, spa treatments, campaign contributions, legal costs, and stacks of casino chips. And it was those chips, $250,000 worth, that was his undoing. Photos of the 51-year-old cashing out in Vegas prompted the probe the feds call Operation Casino Royale. They say that money came from a developer who had a project in downtown L.A. in 2015. I'm not going to say anything about that. I'm going to be back and do my job. That was Wezar after the feds raided his office two years ago. The FBI says it also found all of this $129,000 in cash hidden in his closet at home. Tonight, the city council voted unanimously to suspend him. But in Boyle Heights, many of his constituents believe it's time for him to step down. Well, someone will have to replace him, Some, somebody with a good uh, background and good morality. Four other people have also been arrested in the corruption probe, including a political aide, a political fundraiser, and also former city council member Mitch Englander. And federal prosecutors say more arrests could also be on the way. In Boyle Heights, Chrissy Fajardo, KCAL 9 News.